again. We're your hosts. I'm Shannon. I'm John. Sam, he why? Uh, it's been a while. It's been what, a little over a month, really. Uh, I've kind of dropped the ball because, you know, I've got other obligations I've got to attend to. You know, i got my business i got to run. i got two other channels i got to run. Plus, i got my family to take care of. So, been trying to talk Sam here and to um, start doing videos on his own and then just get sending me the footage to upload, but he kind of dropped the ball on that too. So. Uh, but this is our Halloween episode. Um, in case you don't know, John is dressed as Sam Hain from Trick or Treat, the movie. And of course, I am a Starfleet captain. Um, I ordered this costume, I think it came from like China or something. <laughs> I ordered it off of Amazon. Get free of this thing! <laughs> um, it's a little snug. I can do the card maneuver, you know. The card, the card, the card tuck. Yeah. Um, but the, the Velcro, they got the communicator Velcroed on. And your Velcro. There we go. <laughs> but it's way too far over. It's like almost in my armpit. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. And they've got. The pips are actually sewn on buttons, which I am eventually going to get actual pips for it. The thing is, I think you could probably use Velcro. I probably just sew it on there. Just like, I'll do that. Um, and the sleeves, I don't really like how it looks with the sleeves down. He would make it. Yeah, it looks okay, but I prefer. Yeah, not all one piece, or you've got two separate Two separate, two separate. Um, I prefer wearing my sleeves like O'Brien does on DS9. Hold up. Um, Tell us about your costume, Joe. We've got this thing here. Um, it's not really just three separate pieces. Um, I've got the orange uh, thing here. It makes me look like a giant pumpkin. This thing was, I think, probably close to around 40 or 50 bucks just for the costume. The mask was separate. The mask was probably about 50 bucks. Uh, they both came from uh, Trick or Treat Studios. It is a latex mask. It's not a real burlap sack, but it's pretty pretty damn well designed. They even have uh, those who've seen the movie. They actually have the pumpkin face mask too. That thing's going for like sixty five dollars. So, uh, but this is Trick or Treat Studios. They also have the the, lo the two different versions of the lollipop, a pumpkin lollipop that you can buy. One that it's whole, and the other one where you bit into it and use it as a weapon. Those run for 20 bucks. I have that on the way, so I didn't have any time for this. And these gloves are actually part, uh, this pair of gloves I found at Target for like three bucks. Nice. So, and then I have, you can use like, I got a, um, a matching pillowcase for his sack, which I'm gonna fill with candy from the dollar store, so it actually, you know, realistic. You could get a bigger one, a uh, life size pill, uh, body pillow case. Put a uh, if man. Want, if you want to spend the extra money, I was going to do with a body pillow case. Honestly, put, put a dummy in there so you. Can... Yeah, I was I was going to do something like that, but I wouldn't want to spend like the twenty dollars on a pillowcase that's going to get ruined. Right. So any little pillowcase that's similar to the color of the mask works. And there you go. Uh, if you're a little, you know, like, I mean, if it was thinner, I'd probably look just like the little guy <laughs> running around. Got the height for it. So. Nice. Um. Tomorrow so, is the season premiere of The Walking that's Dead. That's going to be the big news right there. Yes. Um, we'll do our reviews of the last couple of weeks with the drills, but <coughs> let's go ahead and talk about the big elephant in the room. Yeah. Uh, so, right away. Shannon, who's going to get it? It's already been said. It's already, <sighs> we've already been told two people are going to die in this episode. I hope that it's Abraham. Not that I don't like Abraham, but out of the three that it could possibly be, I hope it's Abraham. And the second person? Um, either Glenn or Daryl. I don't think it's going to be Daryl. <coughs> Mine is Abraham and Glenn. Um, Abraham was supposed to die last season with the arrow through the eye. They, in my theory, is they didn't do that because they wanted uh, a popular character as someone to debate against of who's going to die. 
Mm -hmm. And it worked. And Glenn, well, spoiler alert in the comic books, Glenn's the one that meets the seal. Yeah. So I don't think they're going to stray too far away from the comic book at that key point. Because they did, they, yeah, they, they, they did it. Because Glenn's they, death really it affects Maggie. Yeah, it and is. sets other things in motion. Yeah, uh, I mean, look at what had the Carl, his eye missing his eye. We got that. The only thing, big thing they didn't do was they had the governor didn't take Rick's hand, which um, a spoiler alert in three, two, one. Okay, so if you watch this um, three and a half, four minute teaser of the Walking Dead premiere, uh, you got. Negan and Rick talking back and forth. Rick talking smack. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, and Negan saying, "Oh, you need a right hand man or whatever." And he says, "Give me his hatchet." Drags him into the RV. He goes, "We'll be right back." So it's rumor, it's speculated that um, Negan is gonna be the one to take Rick's hand with the hatchet. See, I I don't think. So, because, like I told you earlier... Kirkman said he regretted yeah, doing that. Kirkman always said he regretted doing that. If he had to do it all over again, he wouldn't have done it. Um, so... I think it's still going to happen. What is he going to do with Rick and the axe in there? He's not going to kill Rick. Make it so him and Michonne can't... Um, mm, <laughs> that could be. Because you know how uh, Negan likes doing that uh, torture stuff. I mean, Well, there's the thing. In the comics... Negan doesn't kill, well, he, he, he doesn't really kill uh, wounded people, from what my understanding. So that leaves Daryl safe. Because when he gets shot, you hear, what's his name going? Oh, yeah, it'll be all right. He doesn't do women, and he doesn't kill children. So that saves Maggie. Uh, that might save Carl, depending on how old he is in the show. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, of course, Baby isn't even there. No. She's with... Uh, Gabriel. Yeah. So. Um, also, there. <clears throat> and here's another thing. Will we find out who dies at the beginning of the episode? Or are they going to drag it out? Do you realize that they drag it out how many people are going to be pissed? Oh, yeah. Because they would do that, too. Yeah. They did that shit with Glenn. Four fucking episodes before we found out if he died. And then he doesn't show up until later on in the episode. I, I think with it being such a massive thing, I think they're going to show it right away. Um, they're not going to drag that out because people are going to, you know, start getting sick of stuff like that and start stop tuning in each week. Um, but I think what Negan does to Rick in the RV. God, we need to stop people saying that. <laughs> Well, I had a Cuban. I read about yeah. that. I'm on, hungry. On the way here. Um, <clears throat> I think what Rick does, or what Negan does to Rick with the hatchet in the RV, is Negan likes playing mind games with people. In the comics, Negan finds women that he wants and offers their men and, uh, like a choice, I guess. It, he takes their women and claims them as his wives. If the men try to fight, he you know, brands the side of their face, like with uh, what's his name? Uh, so, do you know about his backstory? He was a, he was a gym teacher yeah. uh, whose wife had cancer, but he was cheating on her, and he chose his wife who had cancer. So that gave him somewhat of a bit of humanity to him. But that doesn't make it mean it's not that, hey, he cheated on his wife with cancer. <laughs> it's still a douchebag move for that. And I guess he was a yeah. douchebag gym teacher, too. Oh, so. I, I can imagine. I mean. <laughs> and you know the funny thing. Oh, and his wife's name was Lucille. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know the funny thing about it is, okay, you got Negan and Maggie, who are both in the dar uh, Batman, Batman vs. Superman. Superman. Yeah. They also were both in Supernatural. Were they? Yeah. Maggie, oh, yeah, well, yeah, Negan, Negan is the, their dad. Yeah, and Maggie played a uh, a cat burglar type. I was going to say, please say she played mom, because that'd been awesome. <laughs> no, they did bring mom back for the season, though. Of course they did. But we'll, we'll get into that later. Um, let us know in the comments. I'm going to post this tonight so that you guys can uh, comment on it or whatever before the episode tomorrow. 
Let us know who you think got the big. And if it's okay with my girlfriend, I'm going to live stream it Friday or tomorrow on Facebook. Uh, just so you can get my reaction and her reaction as it happens. Um, so, yeah. I don't know how many people are going to turn in because a lot of people are going to be watching The Walking Dead. <laughs> but you can watch it later. Well, see, luckily, I've got the way I've got to set it up on my own. I got my TV, and then I got my desk and my computers and everything. But so that, I, uh, I can have everything going at once. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, so, and you know what? Send us your reactions. Yeah. Send us your reactions. I yeah. kind of uh, go to our Facebook page, Comageddon. Comageddon face on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, and record uh, your reactions um, and post post them. And uh, yeah, I'd be really interested to see those because I know later on, like the next day, I'm gonna be here at work on YouTube looking up for freaking reactions. You know, people are gonna be posting their reactions mm -hmm. on YouTube and shit. So yeah, I'll be filming my reactions for tomorrow. And also, as a part of Halloween, uh, why don't you send us pictures of your Halloween costumes? I'd like to see that too. Yeah. Um, maybe we can do a contest. Uh, the best the best costume... Well, it's obviously the best costume gets to come on Come Again, because we want yeah. people to come on Come Again anyway. Yeah. So. Best costume gets to come on Come Again. Um, so... And, and you get to decide what you want to talk about while you're on Comageddon. Um, so there's a big plus. Looks so, like a clown costume now. No, you actually look like an infant. <laughs> you better just be glad it zips in the back. <laughs> My brother, when he when we were Shannon, younger, Shannon. he had a one, he wore a onesie like that, and. Uh, he had to use his bathroom and he used it. He, mm. That's, yeah, after we're done here, I am going to get out of this. Cause I'm here till, um, Take about, it off, three, baby. Till about three or four. Fortunately, it unzips in the back and I can't. <laughs> so Shannon had to zip me up before the show. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with our. Um, Was that creepy enough for you? <laughs> we will be back with our show reviews. Yeah. Um, have you decided on. TV show reviews. Yeah. So we were just talking about me taking it off. Have you decided on the toy you're going to do a toy review on? Either? I have not. Um, Dude, I, I literally was been at the store since 5 o'clock. I, uh, I do have a reading recommendation for you guys. Uh, it'll go along with our Halloween theme. I was going to bring my Creature from the Black Lagoon figure. But I forgot it because I didn't get to sleep until a quarter after, until a quarter to six this morning. Nice. So That's. Because I had Close some. To what's on my well, I had somebody go. come in around ten o'clock to look at the store, talk business, possible news coming soon. Um, it's nothing's you know concrete at all. We stay tuned. But yeah, um, we they we all stood around talking and um, we didn't get out of here until after five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so. All right, guys. So stay tuned. We'll be back with our episode reviews.